Okay, here's an antelope cape. I'm going to show you the correct way to uh, go ahead and measure an antelope cape, or any cape as far as that goes. The critical methods are two. Tip of the nose to the corner of the eye. Now this here is actually a giant pronghorn cape. Most people call it antelope. North American antelope pronghorn. Pronghorn antelope. Now, ideally, if you can, go ahead and measure it on the animal itself. But a lot of times, especially in our, uh, our line of business being a taxidermist, a lot of animals come in already skinned out. Many do, many do not. But what we do is, now usually uh, the measurements taken for mounts uh, to order in the form are taken after the skin has become tanned and then rehydrated and stretched. So anyway, this here is a raw cape, so it will basically give you an idea. Raw cape can stretch a lot, but I'm just going to basically, you get it looking like an antelope, you don't stretch it out too much. Let's take a look at that face. That face is absolutely huge on here. Now, corner of the eye to the tip of the nose, right here. About eight and three quarter inches. This is for a pronghorn now, mind you. Now, the real important neck measurements, there's two measurements tip of the nose to the corner of the eye, the neck measure, measurement. And right here, this is where you go ahead and measure it about three inches below the base of the ear butts. We're looking at 18 and three quarter inches. That is a very large cape for any antelope, that's for sure. And that's how you measure capes. Okay, this here is Rocky Mountain Mule Deer. Typical cape, been fleshing it down on the machine. Now, how do you measure a cape for a head form? Well, first of all, there's a lot of different manufacturers that require several measurements. The key measurements are only two of them, and that is the tip of the nose, right here, to the corner of the eye, and their circumference of the neck a couple inches below the ears. Right here's the ears, ear butts, here's the ears. So you would go ahead and measure right across there. A couple inches down, two or three inches down. So this one here, now this one here is not through fleshed yet. Once we finish fleshing this here, we'll tan it. Then of course we'll go ahead and stretch it and stuff. So just to give you an idea, this one here measure it, measures out right now about 19 and 3 quarter to 20 inches for the next measurement. There's two measurements, nose, tip of the nose to the corner of the eye, and their sort of comforts of the neck. It's always best to measure them while they're on the animal itself before you skin it. Uh, as far as the nose to eye measurement, but it's not necessary. And obviously, once you go ahead and uh, skin out the deer, you can go ahead and actually measure the meat if you want. But as far as putting a tape around it, pulling it tight, and uh, trying to get a neck measurement that way while it's still on the animal, uh-uh. The proper way to do it is to skin the animal out, go through the tanning process, and measure it that way. But again, tip of the nose, tip of the nose to the corner of the eye. Right there. Of course you got everything laid out real nice and neat. But that's how you do it. That's how you measure capes. Now there are there are some other measurements. You take one, two, three different measurements, but no. Uh, the main measurements, tip of the nose, corner of the eye, and circumference of the neck below the ears. That's the easiest way to do it. 
Uh, most forms that you get nowadays are anatomically uh, correct, they're sculptured properly, and they should fit. Not saying some won't, because there is regional differences in size in general, but for the most part, a mule deer is a mule deer. It just depends if it's in uh, rut or not. Okay, thank you. Measuring capes for forms. Uh, I've already measured the nose to eye measurement, but of course I'll go ahead and show you this. All capes, it's always good to measure them while they're still connected to the tissue. You can see this kind of deformity here, this elk, but that doesn't change the measurements. There's two measurements that are critical. There's a lot of people that want to go ahead and oh, take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different measurements. Uh -uh. As far as manufacturers and uh, ordering in supplies, oh, it's great to have all the measurements in the world, but there's two critical measurements for capes, for head mounts. That's the tip of the nose to the corner of the eye and the circumference of the neck just below the earbuds. I'll show you that. So if this was still on there, we would simply go corner of the eye to the tip of the nose. But since it's not, let me get this about right here. You can use a ruler, tape, what have you. Corner of the eye, uh, corner of the eye, to the tip of the nose. We were looking at 11 and a half. Now it's nice to get everything folded neatly if you're going to do that measurement. And here's the critical part right here. Now a raw skin can stretch a lot. So what you want to do is not overly stretch it. Many people wait till you're through tanning, through rehydrating, and through stretching it. But you can measure a raw cape and have the form waiting for you for when you get all of the tanning done or it comes back from the uh, uh, tannery. Uh, that way you can hurry up and mount the animal. Uh, we do a lot of our own game head tanning uh, simply because we have the equipment and the knowledge and the experience. And that's one of the things there we teach in our school also. But anyway, here, moderate stretch. Now technically, when all this is shaved down, we could get a little bit more. But this is how we measure the neck measurement. Now this is a long V cut, but that's because this elk is a little bit strange. You can see the deformity. Here we have basically a normal pedicle and everything. And then here we can see this other one was bent up forward, then it came back. Kind of strange, but the measurements are stay at the same. Last measurement. Here's the earbuds. Get a moderate stretch. Don't overdo it. It's from end to end. So here's what we'll do. This elk measures. About 29 and a half. We'll even go, uh, I'll give you 30 on here. Now, I can go ahead and order in a form and have full confidence that it will fit, provided, of course, the sculptor of that particular form that I order in knows what they're doing. And most forms on the market today are anatomically correct. Can't argue with them. They are a heck of a lot better than things we used to use 30 years ago. I can guarantee you that. So, 35 years ago, I should say. So that's how you do it. Tip of the nose, the corner of the eye, net measurement. That's how you measure it. This is the Rocky Mountain Bull Elk.